Here is the idea Metro management just laid at the feet of its board. Make some service better, make some service cheaper. It's all in Metro's new proposed annual budget. All of this could go into effect in July. The biggest proposed service hikes happen during rush hours. The morning rush would last an extra half hour until 10 a.m. The evening rush an extra hour and a half until 830 p.m. That means more trains coming more often. Metro also wants all trains around the clock to be eight cars. Right now, only some trains are that big. Metro thinks this will cut down on crowded platforms. This proposal does not make major changes to the time between trains called headways. Metro also does not want more service on weekends. That's when a lot of track work is taking place and trains come less often. Instead, Metro wants to charge a flat fare on weekends of $2. That would get you anywhere in the system. Metro General Manager Paul Wiedefeld says he's been working to get Metro back to good. He says this idea is about making Metro better than good. Pete Muntean, WUSA 9. All right, here's something we can all be happy about. The forecast for Halloween. It's almost perfect. I mean, I mean it really is. You really must have. You just pulled some stuff out we, the air. I don't we, know how we you worked, did it. We worked hard year. on this. You know, statistically, it's usually dry on Halloween. Yeah. Like we have a 92% chance of it being dry on Halloween over the last 25 years. And this is going to be dry and actually unseasonably warm. I mean, it, it's going to be really kind of a, well, a treat, really. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s. Oh, there she goes again. And rather mild. So, I mean, that's just about picture perfect. In terms of temperatures, November is going to kind of come in like a lamb here. We're looking at 62 tomorrow, 70 on Wednesday, but then 75 on Thursday, back to 69 on Friday, and then, well, some cold air, cooler air does move in uh, over the weekend, but the weekend right now looks okay. Okay, headlines. Well, a cool but beautiful Tuesday, warmer on Halloween and Thursday. We should make 70s, I think, both days. Then late showers possible Thursday, more to the west. And if we don't see him late Thursday, we will Thursday night uh, into early Friday morning, which means it could affect D.C. United's uh, playoff game Thursday night. OK, tomorrow morning, we're only 45 D.C. There'll be a upper 30s, a sprinkling of low 40s, maybe 40 in Gaithersburg, 43 in Hagerstown. So not super cold to start. But 839 o'clock, we're in the 40s pretty much across the board. Maybe still 39 in Gaithersburg and Damascus. And then by lunchtime, upper 50s, low 60s. I think these numbers running a little bit low. And winds will eventually slacken tomorrow and maybe turn more out of the west southwest by six o'clock. Really a beautiful day. 60 downtown, 57 Hagerstown, 57 Larray, and 61 in Bowie. That's a pretty nice uh, late October day. By 9:30 tomorrow night, not that cold either. Still in the upper 40s. Even even 50 in Leesburg at 9:30, 10 o'clock is not bad, and 54 uh, downtown. So really a nice end to the uh, month. Okay, so tonight chilly, clear to partly cloudy, 38. Uh, to 45 winds west northwest uh, at about 10. So 48 tomorrow downtown at 9 o'clock, but 57 at lunchtime and 61 by 1 o'clock by 5 o'clock. That's a pretty good deal. So 62 tomorrow, 70 on Wednesday, Halloween, warm and dry, and then 75 on Thursday. Maybe a late shower, but you know what? A better chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Yep, thunderstorm <laughs> overnight uh, Thursday into early Friday. Even Friday, the cold air kind of lags a little bit, still upper 60s, but then Saturday cool near 60. Heart walk looks fine. Looks fine for the Terps game. Noon kickoff and then burgundy and gold. Nice on Sunday. Sunshine temperatures in the low 60s. All right, Todd. Turns out actress Carrie Washington had a deep impact on Stephen Colbert's life. I'm not kidding. Check it out. <laughs> Tune in tonight. I've got Carrie Washington from the new Broadway play American Son. You may know her from Scandal or Django Unchained, but to me, she'll always be Heather from the 1994 ABC After School special Magical Makeover. She taught me to take a chance of being myself. <laughs> <laughs> Watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert as soon as we wrap up and you're going, what was that show and when did that happen? All right, we can't finish without giving sports director Darren Hayes his time. He's warming up those vocal cords to drop some notes about the Burgundy and Gold best start in a decade. That's next on the News at 11. School shootings. Word of one fills every parent with terror, including me. Communities want to make schools safer, but many just aren't sure how. This week, WUSA 9 investigates innovative ways to keep kids safe in school. When the NRA tried to overturn Maryland's assault weapons ban, Attorney General Brian Frosch led the fight to stop them, defending our gun safety laws to protect the people of Maryland.